Makanda, previously known as Grahamstown, is a small town of about 140,000 citizens in the Eastern Cape. In this town is the renowned Rhodes University, with 117 years of existence and over 8,200 students coming from different parts of South Africa and the world. This is a typical day in the life of the students at Rhodes who have everything at their disposal. While these students are cooped up in the walls of Rhodes University, on the other side of town is a reality that is far different than the one at Rhodes. One could go as far as saying there is a gap between the students and the community of Makanda. But some students take initiative to engage with community members. The Rhodes University Community Engagement Division instills and puts into action the civic and social responsibility of all students and staff members of Rhodes University through various community engagement activities. The division strives all community engagement initiatives to contribute to individual transformation in Makanda and nationally. My name is Nosi Pongwind and I work at um, Community Engagement. Um, as a coordinator for community relations and student organizations. I coordinate programs or projects, one of, one of them being the CE reps, um, students who stay in residences and obedience, um, who are doing um, community engagement work. So I coordinate that, um, the relationship between them and their community partners. My name is Gabela Madibana, a second year student at Rhodes University doing a Bachelor of Arts in Humanities. I'm majoring in Law and Psych, and I am the Community Engagement Rep of Leland Britton House. There is a gap um, that exists between the community and our students, um, and I think COVID-19 has really exacerbated that gap because of the digital divide um, that we have in Makanda. I feel like as students, we are cooped up in just the walls of rows and not go beyond the community. We are not more informed about like the things that are needed to be done in the community, which is why the initiative of Roos came about so that students can engage more with the community and work together with the community as Rhodes, as a community university, as a university for everyone. An issue that is highlighted by both Nguinti and Madibana is that of digitalization and lack of internet connection. To counter this problem, the Rhodes University Community Engagement Division has installed Wi-Fi in different schools in the township. Furthermore, community engagement came up with initiatives to bridge the divide. We have come up with ideas where we can make plate materials for the children by going to the internet and downloading some working materials for them. Since we're well, in the community, there's not much um, network coverage for them to, or equipments for them to obtain those materials. Some people argue that it is not the responsibility of students to bridge the gap, but it is rather the government's responsibility to ensure there is social and economic balance in all parts of Makanda. However, plagued with lack of service delivery, it is unclear how the government can be of help in bridging this divide. A light of hope can be seen from the MCF party, which hopes to bring change that will bridge this gap. Whatever the case may be, some students feel that they have a responsibility over the town in which they reside and they should be able to assist with the little that they have. Students from the St. Mary's Hall at Rhodes University took a day out to go into the community and extend a helping hand. My name is Ndomekaya Fundani. I'm a third year student at Rhodes University. I'm currently doing a BA in general psychology and ethics. Yes, I do think there's a gap that exists between students and the community. Um, as such, growing up, I'm from here. So from a very young age, I've seen the difference. Um, students live in, I could say, a bubble because everything is in their own disposal. Everything is in town, whereas this side, it's very much physically divided and very um, academically divided as well. Today we're at Papani Free School and we're here to decorate and paint the school and make it look really nice. 
um, what motivated me to come is that uh, firstly I'm very I'm very passionate about the, the community and and uplifting the community and I thought today would be a very fun activity as well um, and also to show that we don't have to use money to, to be able to help the community um, the more hands the better it is important that we engage with the community because most of us are even going to be working here so I think you need to sort of like form relationships with the people that you're going to be working with especially because others uh, some of us have are doing careers that require community work like pharmacy you're going to be working in a community pharmacy and you need to have that sort of relationship with everyone especially the kids so I think we do need to come up, come out of that bubble I encourage every student to step out of their bubble, to be socially engaged and to come out into the community and help and paint schools and just be socially engaged citizens. It's very fun and it's very therapeutic. So I encourage everyone to step out and help out. My name is Mfundo Palakisi. I stay here in Makanda and I work here at Papani Preschool. I work as the supervisor here at Papani. I worked with Rhodes University through Nosi Nguinti. I got into contact with her and told her I worked here at Papani as a supervisor and would like to be added on the Rhodes University community engagement. That is how I got into contact with Rhodes University. Community engagement. So in the end, I seven I can all of Rhodes University. And for not talk up to am deserving. I am so happy because this is the first time that something like this is happening here at Papani in all the years that I've been here. That is why I'm so happy when this is happening here today. This initiative has helped us a lot as the teachers of Papani Preschool because for so many years the school hasn't been the way it is today. As I have said, this is the first time this is happening here at Papani Preschool. Finally, this place will look like a preschool because it has been painted on the outside and it's beautiful. The children will also see that the walls are painted and that their school looks beautiful. There is so much we can do for our community, so students rise up and help.